Hi most amazing top teners, how are you beauties doing today? Today we are back on that Disney train as we talk the top 10 craziest Disney easter eggs you probably missed. It turns out that Disney loves to leave little clues, hints and tidbits and even characters from other films in their movies. Once you start investigating, you realise that there are so so many of them. Here are 10 to start us off. Oh hello there Belle! If we look really hard enough we can spot Beauty aka Belle reading one of her books in the out there musical number scene from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Both the Hunchback of Notre Dame and Beauty and the Beast are set in France so I'm guessing it kind of makes sense. But hold on, is that the magic carpet we see being shaken out there too? Apparently you can also see Pumba from the Lion King although I'm having difficulty spotting that one. Nothing stands out as clearly as Belle anyway. There she is. Ok coming in at number 9 we have some friends of Belle's, we have Mrs Pot and Chip appearing in Tarzan. Turk drums on a tea set but wait a minute, that isn't just any old tea set, that looks a lot like Mrs Potts and her kids. And if we look closer we can see that one of the teacups clearly has a chip in it. It's Chip! Some fan theories go that Jane inherited the tea set from Belle, her great great grandmother I think. I mean maybe. Coming in at number 8 we have Lady and the Tramp Dogs in 101 Dalmatians. I mean dogs appearing in a dog movie, it makes so much canine sense. Peg appears in the window of Percy's pet shop during the twilight bark scene and even Lady and the Tramp themselves appear briefly in the very same scene, it's an absolute dog fest. Next up it isn't just the Lady and the Tramp crew going on dog adventures, Pongo from 101 Dalmatians is all up in the doggy scene in Oliver and Company, although I don't know what he's doing in New York. I'm pretty sure that Pongo is supposed to live in the UK but I guess he could be on a little trip. Nothing like a city break away from the kids eh? Coming in at number 6 we have Disney's super cute Kristoff disclaimer during the end credits of Frozen. As the credits roll some shrewd eyed viewers spotted this notice. The views and opinions expressed by Kristoff in the film that all men eat their own boogers are solely his own and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the Walt Disney Company or the filmmakers. All men do it. Yeah, not necessarily, sure. Keeping it frozen related, in at number 5 we have Rapunzel and Flynn attending Elsa's coronation. See, you can see them right there, they look like they're saying hi to Anna. Some fans actually think that the princesses of Arundel are actually Rapunzel's real cousins. Hello there number 4, did you guys know that Nanny of Lilo and Stitch is a huge Mulan fan? She has a poster of the strong female heroine on her bedroom wall. Mulan forever! Coming in at number 3 we have the Jungle Book and Toy Story 2 showing up in Meet the Robinsons. So do you see it there, just as Lewis wakes Goob in time to make the game winning catch we can spot posters for the Jungle Book and Toy Story 2 in the background of the baseball field. More Toy Story at number 2 and possibly some Disney justice, we have Sid, the mean toy torturing kid from the first Toy Story showing up as a garbage man in Toy Story 3. How can we tell it's Sid? Well because he's rocking the same skull t-shirt and Disney does not create symbolism like that by accident. Possibly the best kind of Disney justice here at number 1, we have Scar showing up as an item of clothing in Hercules. Demigod Hercules is seen wearing lion skin as he sits for a painting on a vase. Once he takes off the cloak we see that the dead lion is Scar. Zazu totally called it as well. He'd make a very handsome throw rug. Zazu. Yep, it's quite delightful how the wicked get what they deserve. So that was the top 10 Disney Easter eggs. Have you guys spotted any more? Also, let me know your favourite Disney movie in the comments section down below. I'm not sure what mine is. I want to say Beauty and the Beast, but I've also got a lot of love for Pocahontas. I think I could change depending on the day. Love me some Disney. So I'm Rebecca Felgay, I heart Disney. Leave me some Disney related comments and I'll try and respond to as many of you as I possibly can. For now, if you like, like this video, if you love Disney show me by giving it a good thumbs up, sharing it with a friend and of course staying subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10 for more lists coming at you every day. Thank you, bye.